Well, well, you might need to calm down, because the Toyota RAV4 is finally here. Whoever has the previous version of this model is already quite satisfied with the variant, we're sure. Although, if you wish to switch to the upgraded version and want to touch the perfection of this Toyota variant, well, we might have some bad news for you. No, it's nothing to do with the car's functioning, but it's just the price. To buy the best, you need to be willing to spend more on the upcoming version. And you're watching Tech Addicts, where we get you all the latest updates all together. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into our video. The Toyota RAV4 compact SUV is consistently the best-selling vehicle in the world. In 2021, however, another Toyota model, the Toyota Corolla, surpassed the Camry as the world's best-selling vehicle. If you want to buy a car, the Toyota RAV4 is your best bet. The RAV4 is the best-selling vehicle in the world thanks to 2021 sales of 1,132,000 units by Toyota. As of 2021, the RAV4 had sold 1,104,000 cars, surpassing the sales of the Toyota Corolla, the Honda CRV Compact SUV with 903,000 units sold, and the Nissan Sentra Compact Vehicle follow the Corolla as the next best selling cars. IOL reports that Toyota is the best selling automaker in the world, and there were also two other mid sized vehicles that were in the top 10 the Camry and the Hilux. Other Honda models that made the cut include the Accord mid sized sedan, the HRV subcompact SUV, and the CRV compact SUV. However, the Toyota RAV4 competes strongly in the United States. The RAV4 is the best selling non pickup truck vehicle in the United States in 2021, with sales of 400,739. There are a few Few main reasons why the Toyota RAV4 has sold so well. One reason is that small SUVs like the RAV4 are trending upward in popularity everywhere except perhaps in the Middle East. The RAV4's versatility is another strong suit. It's as practical as an SUV but more manageable than a sedan and boasts excellent gas mileage. The RAV4 is designed to appeal to a large demographic. The LE trim is the more affordable option, while the limited trim is the more opulent one. Two hybrid variants of the RAV4 are available for those concerned about fuel economy, and the RAV4's TRD off-road package caters to off-roaders specifically. Third, driving a RAV4 is a lot of fun. The RAV4 Prime is an excellent example of this because it can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5.5 seconds, which is comparable to the acceleration of a sports car. The RAV4 also features numerous cutting-edge conveniences. This features a user-friendly infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration, as well as driving assistance technologies like lane tracing assist and dynamic radar cruise control. Furthermore, the RAV4 is a very reliable car with a much-deserved reputation for lasting many miles and years. Further, the RAV4's design is both appealing and functional with a bold and sporty aesthetic. A new generation of Toyota's best-selling SUV, the RAV4, will debut soon, and with it will come a price hike of more than $2,150 for every trim level. A $2,150 to $2,820 price hike has been implemented before the 2023 RAV4 arrives in Australian shops in December 2022. Toyota's updating the RAV4, which is Australia's best-selling SUV, with new features including a digital instrument cluster, improved safety features, and an improved infotainment system. The base price of a Toyota RAV4 GX is now $36,550 plus on-road charges, an increase of $2,150 from March 2022. The base price of a Toyota RAV4 GXL is now $37,550 plus on-road costs, which is an increase of $2,450. The Toyota RAV4 Edge Gas now starts at $53,020, including on-road charges, an increase of $2,850 due to the vehicle's new standard LED projection headlights, which replace the parabolic LEDs found on previous gasoline models. As was previously reported, the Toyota RAV4 GX and GXL now come standard with satellite navigation and Toyota connected services, in addition to having a 7-inch screen in the instrument cluster. When it comes to infotainment, the GX and GXL keep the RAV4 standard 8-inch touchscreen, while the XSE, Cruiser, and Edge get a larger 10.5-inch display, the same size as the one in the new Corolla Cross. A 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster with four different designs and three different layouts is now standard on all three luxury trim levels. Toyota claims that the RAV4's voice recognition technology has been upgraded thanks to two new microphones and that four of the five USB-A ports have been upgraded to USB-C. 
All trim levels of the Toyota RAV4 now come standard with an improved autonomous emergency braking system and emergency steering assist, which helps to keep the car in its lane during an evasive steering maneuver. Toyota says the RAV4's improved rear-view camera provides a more detailed image on the display, and it now features dynamic guidelines to help with parking in reverse. The underfloor view is an additional feature of the 360-degree camera found in the Toyota RAV4 Cruiser and the Toyota RAV4 Edge SUVs. Two gasoline-only engines and two gasoline-electric hybrids are available for the 2023 RAV4, continuing the offerings from the 2022 model year. The 2.0-liter four-cylinder gas-only engine in the Toyota RAV4 GX, GXL, XSC, and Cruiser generates 127 kilowatts and 203 newton meters and sends power to the front wheels via a CVT. The RAV4 hybrid models include a 2.5-liter gasoline engine and a front electric motor that can generate up to 160 kilowatts when paired with a CVT. Hybrid models with all-wheel drive receive an additional electric motor in the back, boosting total system output to 163 kilowatts. Crystal Pearl has been replaced with Frosted White as one of the RAV4's nine possible colors. In December 2022, you may anticipate seeing the 2023 Toyota RAV4 on Australian dealer lots. Well, we can compare it with the rival CRV. It's a clash of the titans when you put the Honda CRV up against the Toyota RAV4. Not only do these two models dominate their respective segments of the U.S. auto industry, but they also hold solid positions among the top 10 best selling vehicles overall. Thus far in 2022, the RAV4 is fourth in sales nationally, and the CRV is sixth. It's a given that each of these models is extremely essential to their respective car companies, and there's also little room for question that these are good deals. It's no secret that Honda and Toyota have been competing against one another in the compact SUV market for the better part of 25 years. The segment was revolutionized by these two vehicles. Their introduction signaled the beginning of the market shift from SUVs based on small trucks, independent body-on-frame construction, to cars' unibody platforms with elevated ride height and SUV-like dimensions, short for crossover sport utility vehicles. In 2023, Honda will release a completely redesigned CRV to the public. The rival Toyota RAV4 hasn't seen a generational update since the 2019 model year. Toyota's not been sitting on its hands lately either. The 2021 model year saw the debut of a plug-in hybrid RAV4 Prime, but for the 2022 model year, the CRV has the advantage of being new, while Toyota has the burden, if you want to call it that, of being a carryover model. Toyota's tiny SUV, the RAV4, is available in three distinct trim levels and engine configurations for the 2023 model year. While the Toyota RAV4 Prime offers a plug-in hybrid option, the Honda CRV only offers gas-powered and hybrid models. And when compared to the RAV4, the Honda CRV is about four inches longer and does add some larger inside volume as a result. The interior of the base RAV4 LE is bare bones, but it's still cheaper than the base CRV. However, the CRV has better passenger and cargo rooms, two features that are important to shoppers in this market. So let's go places. RAV4 is the best buy, we say, but you just have to loosen up your pockets a little bit. That'll do it for today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.